Hi, Kevin Conley, Applications Engineer for Ernest Machine Product. Another common question that we get here at Ernest is dealing with platings and coatings. Platings and coatings are important in fasteners in that they provide corrosion protection, give you added life uh, for the life of the fastener. The type of plating and coating that you put on there really depends on the application that's using it. Today I just want to kind of review some of the standard platings and coatings that are out there just so you're familiar with what's available into the fastener world. What we're showing you here are different samples of the most common types of platings. On the end here, I'm showing you a plain finished product. Plain finished product doesn't provide you any corrosion protection. We put a light oil on there. It's just meant to keep it from corroding while it's in the boxes in the warehouse. Um, the first type of coating I want to talk about is what's called a zinc phosphate encoding. Zinc phosphate encoding is an inexpensive coating that provides decent corrosion protection, not meant for a real uh, aggressive applications, but it provides you good protection in moderate environments. And the next most common kind of coating that's out there is called what we call a zinc clear coating, commonly called zinc plated product. Zinc clear coating is a base coat of zinc, uh, the alloy zinc on top of the steel. Then we put a clear chromate on it. The clear chromate gives it the shine and luster, makes it look more cosmetically appealing. Uh, the next most common plating that we deal with out there is a zinc yellow. Zinc yellow is just like the zinc clear in that you have a base coat of zinc put down there. Then we put a yellow chromate on it. The yellow chromate is a more denser chromate, uh, gives you more life in your corrosion protection. The last uh, plating that I want to talk about a coating is some of these new special coatings that are out there. A lot of uh, different chemists are developing different type of coatings and systems out there. You'll hear coatings called Magni, Dacrament, Geomet, Xylan. These are all special coatings that are now put on fasteners that are put on in a dip spin process. A couple of the questions that we always get on coatings is what kind of salt spray protection they give you and what kind of plating thickness have they been applied with. Salt spray protection is how we go about measuring how determining the life that fastener will give you out there in the real world. The standard test for salt spray testing is called an ASTM B117 salt spray cabinet. And the manufacturer of those cabinets will tell you that 24 hours in that cabinet is supposed to be about three years out there in the real world. A plain finished product doesn't give you any time in the salt spray cabinet. Plain finish will start corroding right away. The zinc phosphate and oil, the phosphate and oil co coatings can get you about 24 hours in a salt spray cabinet. The zinc clears are designed to get you about 72 hours in a salt spray cabinet. Zinc yellows are designed to get you 96 hours in a salt spray cabinet. These super coatings that are out there, the Magnes, the Dacomets, Geomets of the world, they're designed to get you 1,000 hours of salt spray, uh, salt spray time. These kind of coatings give you very good cor uh, corrosion protection in a multitude of different types of environments. Like I said, the other question is, what's the plating thickness? The thing you have to remember is, the thickness of the plating will dictate your ability to assemble the nut to the bolt. The heavier the plating goes on, the potential is that you run into interference between the two threads. You can't just put on a heavier plating as you like and expect to be able to assemble your nut with it. So plating thickness is very important in the world. Typically, zinc plated products go on at a thickness of weight called 0.002 inches thick. In the metric world, that's called five microns. The heavier, the super coatings, they go on a little bit thicker. They're going on uh, 0005 thick, typically eight to 10 microns thick. Remember, this information is available to you on our technical library on our website. Feel free to give us a call with any kind of questions you have. Send us an email. We want to be your fastener experts.